Hello, I am Vishnu Purai. I'm the developer of this tutorial, and this is our continuing series on Forex and MetaTrader. Today we will be looking at exports. The product owner and mentor of this project is Dr. Masood Sahaji. Now, let us go into what are expert advisors on the MetaTrader platform. So first and foremost, expert traders or expert advisors are algorithms or pieces of code developed by traders, computer science students, or anyone who has a vested interest in the Forex market and would like to put out there a piece of software or code that does trading for you if you're new to the, the trading game or looking for a more relaxed or easier way to do trading based on multiple different parameters. So first and foremost, uh, where do we find these expert advisors? So on the MLQ website, you can find under MetaTrader 5 or MetaTrader 4, you can find experts. Now when you hit experts, there are lots of algorithms out there that offer different methods of trading based on different input parameters or different cues in the marketplace. So for example, there are some that just add more information to a chart, or there are some that do more in-depth types of trading based on what the user or the developer of the algorithm has deemed successful in generating profit based on either a particular currency pair or a particular time in the marketplace. The developer of these algorithms usually state what they do and how it works. So a good example of, of this would be for, let's say we pick, we want to look at this uh, expert advisor, moving average EA, which seems to be a common uh, type of expert trader. We go here, there's the name, the, the uploader developer, how many views, rating, and publish date, etc. And then there is a description of how it works and its input parameters. Now, let's say we want to try this out. We go and we hit download right here before. And in this case, you have MetaTrader in, installed in your system. It should pick it up automatically and just hit open with meta editor and this is one way of, of of doing it so we download and it automatically launches in the meta editor and here it is added to the folder exports and the code of the actual advisor is here and you can do if you want to make changes uh and for any specific uh design you have in mind based on, on, on this existing, you can do it here. And then when you're ready with your changes or just general review, you can go ahead and test the trader. It's highly recommended you test a, a expert advisor on historical data first before using any sort of real money. So you can have an understanding of how it works, what its profit is, losses, etc. We will get to that in a second. Now, how do we launch this in uh, the main window? Just go hit here, debug, start on real data. And it pulls up our main trading window, our expert trader, expert MA robot, about user. And then it gives you inputs or uh, properties that you can adjust based on your level of detail you want to trade or your parameters. Here is the basic uh, settings, and here is the in levels of input that the trader takes into detail or use. And we just hit OK here, and we see it's trading here on the Australian Canadian dollar. Now, how do we test this uh, expert advisor? So before we do that, we need what we called our history or history data and you test it traditionally on history data at a specific amount or period 
So how do we get the history in our program? So what we do, we go to Tools, History Center, and here, we will be, for the purpose of this demonstration, we'll be using the Euro USD dollar. So you find it here in Forex Pro 7. This is our symbol here. And we ensure that we have the data for that period. So we just highlight the M1, M5, M15, 30, etc., etc., for the Euro USD dollar. And you just hit download and it's saying that we already have it, we can go ahead and overwrite and it will download the data as seen here. So now that our data is there and ready to be tested, let's give an example of how we test these uh, expert advisors. And now that we've downloaded our data, let's look at the criteria we will be using to test our data on. So our parameters is that we're using the Euro USD uh, dot currency pair and the period is M1 meaning every minute uh, model every tick. Now ticks are the measurement of minimum upward or downward movement in the price of the securities. Our current speed and we're using a specific, specific date. So we're looking from 2018 10 the first to the end of that month, 2018, 10. And we're not looking at any visual move. Now we're back in our main trading window here, and we've looked at, after looking at our parameters, uh, we have to do the tester, the strategy tester. So in how you find this, you go view, and you hit strategy tester, and this window here pops up at the bottom. So we'll go ahead and test an expert advisor. So just to make sure first, let's make sure all our parameters are correct. We have our symbol here, Euro USD dollar, Euro, US, Euro versus US dollar, model, every tick, use date, tick, and our date uh, parameter, period M1, speed current. So let's go ahead and test a expert advisor I had tested in previously, uh, basic trailing stop. And what we do is we go ahead and we hit start. And hit start and our strategy tester takes the advisor and runs through the test until our bar is complete. Now, let's find our results. So what we do is we go over to report. And as you can see here, it has readouts of it tested the the expert advisor was tested over the period we we stipulated and with an initial deposit here and we have some results now to get a clearer look at this we can go ahead and save as report and let's just do tutorial example and hit save and what that does opens up our report as an html file and you have strategy test report, have the name up here, basic trailing stop. Symbol, USD, total net profit, gross profit, and our graph demonstrating its trade cycle for the period. So now for this uh, tutorial, I tested 10 traders total and some yielded results. However, they were, didn't turn a total net profit, which what we used as a criteria to determine algorithms for our next step. Some were unable to generate trading based on various inputs that not necessarily to our criteria. However, I did settle upon one final uh, algorithm. I did champion the multi-level trend expert trader. Now, this trader focusing on net profit was able to generate a total net profit of $3,249. So before we go over the report, let me give you a backstory of this trader. First off, here is the 
download page for the multi-levels trend expert advisor and we have a rating here views publish date etc now here is the description of how the multi-level trends work so how this trader works is that as it says here it's based on the concept that the market does not always move in one direction it pulls back or shifts depending on different market uh, influences such as dominant traders or resistance levels and what that means is that it takes into account these different pushes and pulls in the market and makes trades depending on the trend direction now this expert advisor has many parameters and the parameters are as follow the take profit parameter the moving average period so what the moving average is is that one averages out the instrument price for a time period and as the price changes it moving average either increases or decreases this expert expert advisor is based on the moving average depending on the trend of the market going in either direction that it then base its trades upon so as we can see this strategy tester report yielded very positive results for example in our initial deposit of 10,000 we were able to grow have a gross process profit, profit of four thousand three hundred thirty six dollars and a total net profit of three thousand two hundred forty nine dollars with a average consecutive wins of five and a consecutive losses of one in comparison to the other expert advisors that i have tested this advisor was by far the most superior in terms of total net profit based on our criteria of the specific date and our m1 period and so on so moving forward with this tester is what we will do is next move on to our optimization of the tester and continue it testing based on different criteria and just a quick comparison based on the rest of the expert advisor to tester the nearest other expert advisor that came close to a profit was the expert trend strategy expert advisor However, its total net profit was minus $232, therefore leaving me to conclude that the multi-level trend expert advisor was my choice in moving forward with our next step optimization and continued testing based on various criteria. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial on expert advisors. I, once again, Vishnu Panai, if you have any inquiries for this tutorial, please feel free to email me here. And if you have any inquiries for the project, please read to in email Dr. Masood Sahaji at his email here. Thank you.